guys Hussein and welcome to youtube channel in this video we are going to be making a set of photo recording journey so for that we are going to be installing a few things in our machine the first thing we need to install in our machine is some sort of a browser so my recommendation will be to download and install a google chrome because we are going to be testing the result of our code in google chrome okay so if you want to choose something else like i don't know if you want to install um firefox or you want to install a brow uh, browser so you can also go with that but my recommendation will be to download and install a google chrome okay and the next thing we need for this course is a coder in which we are going to be writing our code again you can choose whichever coder you like like there's a lot of them like sublime adam there's a lot of them but my recommendation will be to download and install a visual story coder for your machine okay and finally we are going to be creating a git repository and we are going to be pushing our code to our github repository so if you guys don't know about git and github so feel free to skip that section okay and i'll also tell you that in a second all right so just type this link or you can just type like uh google chrome so it will bring you to that a specific page and then click on it okay but if you wanted to go with this specific one so you can just write www.google.com and then enter en dash pk and then chrome okay and it will bring you to this page and then you can just click on this download chrome button and it will just start downloading and then you have to install that okay and the next thing is you just have to go to this link like code.visualstudio.com and it will bring you to this page right here and then you can just click on this button so it will automatically detect your operating system like if you're a linux user or you're a mac user in my case i'm a windows user so it automatically detect my operating system right here so here you can see it gives us like download for windows or if you want to download for something else like other operating systems so here you can see we have like mac os right here we have a windows 64 and which i'm using currently i'm using windows 11 so that's why i detect like um my windows right here and if you are a linux user so you can also just click on that and it will start download for you okay so if you guys already know git and github so you can watch the rest of the video if you don't know what a git and github is so you can skip the rest of the video and i'll see in the next video in a first project okay so now i've already created my github account and i've already set up everything like ssh key and etc etc so if you guys already don't know about these stuff which i'm talking about so you can check out my course on git and github so that's going to be enough for you so then i'll just click on that and then create a new repository and i'll just give a name of like uh, i don't know um 100 plus projects no i'll just write like html css javascript 100 projects okay kind of long name but that's gonna do it but currently my repository will be private you can go public if you want to but my repository will be private until this course is launched so when i launch this course so this repository will be public and you can download the code you can tweak the code for your own project and you can do a lot of stuff with that but currently i'm going to go with private and then i'm going to click on this create repository and then it will give us this instruction right here so i'm going to launch my git bash very quickly git uh, bash and then i'm going to just launch it very quickly so here you can see we've launched our git bash and then first thing i'll do is i'll just go to my desktop and now we are good to go so you know what? i'll create a new folder first of all let me create a new folder right here so i'll just create a new folder give me name of like um uh, 100 keys or whatever and then i'll just write cd uh lower case cd and then i'm going to hit space and then i'll drag this folder and put it in here and then i'm going to hit enter right now okay and then clear it up one more time and zoom out of it and now i'm going to just uh, copy all of these instructions right here so basically what we are doing here is first of all we are just checking like first of all let me check if this is a git repository or not we already know like this is not a git repository but we will check it anyway so i'll just use like git status so it will give us like a uh, federal not a git repository so if you want to make it like a git repository so the first thing that you have to do is to uh, just write a git in it so it will make it or current folder as a git repository and then we would add this file and this echo command will allow us to create this file like readme.md and inside this file we would have just our repository name right here and then we would add this file to our uh, staging area and then we would add a commit for that like first commit and then we would just write like git branch dash m and we would just create our branch we would have just one branch like m not more than that because i don't want people to be confused like creating a lot of uh, branches and so we would just have one branch which will be a man branch okay so you can access all of the code from this man branch and then we 
would set up our remote right here and then finally we would push this file this readme.md file to our uh, repository okay so uh, i'll just copy all of this code from here not code but commands and then i'll just clear the terminal and let me make it bigger so that you guys can see everything let me make it a more bigger and then i'll just paste this instruction right here okay and the final thing it will ask us like do you want to push this uh file to your repository so i'll just hit enter and it will now push it to our uh, github repository right here okay all right so everything is set up so if i just clear it up and if i use get status so here you can see on branch master nothing to commit we've already did our commit and we already set up everything and now if i refresh my browser by either uh, hitting f5 button or just click on this gear icon or reload icon so if i just click on that so here you can see we have now our repository right here and now here you can see we have our readme.md file right here so in the next video we are going to be creating our first project and we are going to be pushing that into our uh, github account okay so i'll see you in the next video bye bye